Observing a beautiful garden, it's easy to get lost in the creation and forget about how much someone may have toiled to get it in such great condition. Weeks, months, even years can go by as gardeners craft and nurture their garden designs to look their very best. Ian and Judy Wintle are a retired couple who spend each day maintaining their award-winning garden. In what would seem a chore for others is a passion for the Wintles. Well, we've been keen gardeners, uh, even from our time when we were, I was in the Air Force in Malaya with all the tropical fruit trees there. We came here and we wanted to transplant all those trees we found in Malaya into our backyard. And then from there on it's just progressed, the gardens evolved over the 20 years that we've lived here. It's been many hours of the week uh, working in the garden. The family uh, walked the garden, with the, we walk it with the children often. We call it a giving garden too because we can give all the fruit and vegetables we grow to our family and to friends. Is there anything in particular that you love at the moment? Well, the tree begonias are always good. They always give a lot of colour in the garden. And I like the beehive gingers and the bat plants and the orchids that are growing and the pocket plants. <laughs> There's just so many plants here. We just love every sort of plant going. I can see how you could just get lost in this garden. And by the way, where is our Judy? <laughs> our Judy? I think Judy's with our granddaughter Sophie, feeding the worms. Incorporated into the Wintel's Gardens are some stunning water features and there's even some fish which add a bit of colour. Definitely not for eating, which I'm sure they're happy about. But there are plenty of other things to eat. This is a sample of four of the different fruits we have growing in the garden. This uh, one looks interesting with the little black dots in it. Yes, that's our dragon fruit. Um, it's the white flesh one, but you can actually get a, a red centre one and a yellow centre in the dragon fruit. Can I try? Certainly. And this is the beautiful fruit. Isn't it, it is. lovely? Oh, mm. that mm. is so juicy and yummy. Yes. Now, this other one is the carambola or the five corner fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, you can cut it different ways. You can cut it in the star or in the, the slither type. Depending on where you're going to use it. I'll try in a star. salads. It's in a salad, so you can put this in yes. a salad. Very mm. refreshing. Oh, it is, and you can hear the crunch. Mm. Delicious. And for everything left over, the worm farm can take care of that. They're the perfect waste disposal experts. Thank you so much for showing me and letting me taste some of your garden. It was wonderful today. This is the big question though, where to from now? You've done so much and this just looks fantastic. Is there anything else you can do? There's always room for more plants. <laughs> How about you, Judy? Well, I look at it from this now. We're going to spend the time with the grandchildren and let them enjoy the garden as well and teach them all about it.